Hi everyone, welcome once again to another episode of Data Science Tutorials. In today's video, I am going to show you how you can compare the performance of classifiers using ROC curves. And so what we are going to do is to generate ROC curves for three different classifiers and then put all these plots on the same figure and then we will do the comparison. And so by the end of this tutorial, you would have generated this figure that has been displayed now. For this exercise, I have already prepared a Python code to use. So if you want to run the Python codes on your PC, you need to have these libraries installed. Pandas, NumPy, scikit-learn, and matplotlib. But you don't need to actually run this code on your PC. You can run it using Google Colab here. So to run using Google Colab, you need to first get the Python notebook, which is available on my GitHub repo. So I'll leave the link to this page in the description box. So uh, this is my repo, the machine learning tutorials repo. This repo has the notebook. So on this page, just click the notebooks directory. And then when you are there, check the evaluation directory. And then you will see the notebook that we use. So this is the notebook, it's called Compare Classifiers Using ROC Cap. So just check that notebook and then just, just download it. But you don't need to download, you use Google Colab, so you just need to get the link to this GitHub repo here. That is what you need. So let's get that link. So I've, I have already copied the link. And so what I will do is to come to Google Colab, which you should also have on your browser. You need to first log in to your Google account. So once you have logged in, you have the Google Colab platform ready for you. So there's a link and I'll leave this link also in the description box. So here, just go to the GitHub tab and then just paste the link, the GitHub repo link, which is this one here. And then you can search. So once you search, all the notebooks in that repo will be displayed for you. So let's check them out. So let's go scroll down, check notebooks slash evaluation slash compare classifier. So it should be somewhere here, this one here. So just click it once you see it. And then the notebook will be opened for you here. And so once you are here, you can just run it. I prefer using my Jupyter notebook, so I'll just switch here and then I'll proceed. So we need to first import our libraries. And so let's import them. So we have pandas numpy, we also have some preprocessing tools. The initialization library is matplotlib, and then we have the classifiers and then the evaluation, which is the ROC care and the AUC. So just run this cell to get the codes executed. After that, you need to get your data. We need to read the data. I am using a data which is also available on my GitHub page. So the link here is what we need. In case you want the notebook, you can still come to my repo here, the main page, and then just check the data directory. You will see the data there. It is the Pima diabetes data set. It's, it's a binary classification problem we are dealing with here. So just take notes. So just run this cell to get a link and then run this cell again to read the data. So after getting the data, we then proceed with the rest of the activities. With a typical machine learning task, you need to do exploration as well. But this tutorial, our focus is to get the ROC curve. So I'm going to skip the exploratory parts. So we will move straight to the preprocessing here to get our data in shape. So this one here, the first cell here under preprocessing is to separate the, the values, the variables themselves from the outcome or the class. So that is what this does for you. After that, we split the data into train and then test set. So we are using 8020. So we just split it here. And then we need to normalize the data. So normalization is done so that we can get our values in the same scale. If you have values in different scales, it may affect the model's performance 
the model may even be biased so that is why we do the normalization so that we can get all of them within the same range so here the code here will, will scale the data so that all of them are between zero and then one that is what this does for you if you are interested to go further you can still do some codes and then just verify from here but i will skip that for now so let me run it it's done after that we are going to build the classifiers here so here we are training them so we have the three classifier we have the random forest support vector machine and then k nearest neighbor classifier so these classifiers are what we are going to use so let's run each of them here to get them trained so i'll run all the three okay with ROC curves, we need to get the probabilities. But because we have three classifiers, I decided to automate the process a bit. So I have created a function here, which has everything we need. So the function here, we will get the probabilities and then also generate the ROC curves for us. So let's run this function. So I'll run it. And then because it's a function, we need to call it before it can do the work for us. So that is what this code here would do for us. So this code here has names for each of the models or each of the classifiers. And then it calls the function and also specify the models themselves for us. I mean the model objects. So that is what we have here. And so yeah the dictionary here is applied and so what happens is that the function here will take the dictionary and then will iterate over the values in the dictionary and then use that to process and then get the ROC curves for us so everything here is a bit automated for you so it's just so that beginners like you can also quickly get your hands dirty with data science and then uh, model evaluation so that is why i've made it this simple so let's run this code to get the roc curves let's check it here okay perfect so the roc curves have been generated on the same figure for us so now it becomes easy to compare so we have different color codes for each of the classifiers so we have rf which is random forest SVM and then KNN. And so here are their AUC values here. So you can see from here that SVM had the highest AUC score or AUC value. So this means that in terms of the performance, if you are using the AUC values to evaluate and say a model is good or bad, SVM is the best performing model here. That is why it has 0 0.85. This is followed by RF, which is random forest, which is 0 0.82. And then we also have KNN, which has 0 0.72. So among these three, the best is SVM. And then it's followed by RF. And then the least performing model is the KNN. If you don't have the values here, you can still use some properties here to also understand and get the performance of the models. So for the ROC curves, you can use the steepness to also judge or to identify models which are performing well or to get an idea of the performance of the models. So if you check the steepness here, you can see that SVM is very steep. It's the steepest among the three. And so that tells us that it's the best performing model here. If you check the steepness here, you see it there. This is followed by RF, and that is why it's also here. And then we have KNN, which is also here. So the steepness here can help you to also get the performance of the model. So this is how we did a comparison for different classifiers using ROC curves. And let me say that this is a binary classification problem. And so that is why we are able to do it straightforward. If you also have any suggestions on how this video tutorials can be improved, you can just put it in the comment section and then we can discuss. And I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial and you'll be able to practice and then apply these models to your own data sets. So 
That will be all for this tutorial. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next session. Goodbye.